Itoho Nolo Muloi was born on the 25th December 1932 in Kuting, Lesotho. He was the first of four children, Babala, David Muloi, Paulina Muloi, and Toembi Muloi. Babala is the only surviving one. The family came to Johannesburg in 1940 to join their father and husband, who was employed by Spurnet. In the same year, Litlohonolo started school at Ngakane Primary School, followed by middle school at Donaldson Middle School in White City, Soweto, and secondary schooling at Moruka Missionary Institution in Tabanchu, where he obtained a junior certificate. His political activism started at age 22 in 1954 when he joined the ANC. At that time, he was also employed by the United Tobacco Company, UTC. He left the country for Tanzania in 1962, where his life in exile began and immediately started basic military training in Morocco. Fellow monarchs, we gather here today on the third day of the 20th year of our freedom from the yoke of apartheid and colonialism to bid farewell to a distinguished soldier, patriot, and freedom fighter. We thank the Molloy family for allowing him the space to serve his country and his people. Given his experience and expertise and clarity with regards to the type of society we wanted to achieve, General Muloy was called upon to help in building a new South African National Defense Force in 1994. Compatriots, transformation of the economy was General Molloy's passion, and we have a duty to take the mission forward. He served in many private sector institutions as he believed that economic emancipation should be an integral part of the political freedom. We are pleased that General Molloy continued to contribute to the work of the military even in his retirement. It was quite befitting for General Molloy to be decorated with the Military Veterans Medal for bravery in gold last year. It is not surprising that had General Molloy not fallen ill, he would have been a Paul Bearer to carry Madiba on his last journey. Compatriots and friends, death should not be proud. General Molloy has carved a permanent space in the history of our country. We will always remember his selfless sacrifice, humility, dedication, patriotism, and his commitment to make South Africa a better place. To the family, we say, The deceased left us on 23rd December 2013, two days before his 82nd birthday, at Sunning Hill Hospital, surrounded by friends and family. He is survived by his wife, Pinky, her son, three daughters, and eight grandchildren. To our general, you have run your race, you have fought a good fight. You can now rest in eternal peace. 